And according to CNJ, I'm quoting now, Yesterday I was forwarded an email that had been sent to the members of the Bayshore Tea Party by Barbara Gonzalez. In the email, she suggested that it might be better for the members of the group she founded not to participate in the Americans for Prosperity's maxed out tour of the 4th Congressional District, which is currently represented by Chris Smith. The Maxed Out Tour is AFP's way of channeling grassroots support for real spending cuts from our legislators in Washington, including liberal spenders like the 4th Congressional District's Chris Smith. Further in the email that Mrs. Gonzalez said, she made the following comment. He's quoting you now. Quote, Governor Christie is dealing with difficult issues. Democrats in the legislature are obstructing his ability to enact his agenda and push our agenda his toolkit, and the repeal of RGGI, for example. CNJ then responds, So now we see just what Mrs. Gonzalez feels the members of the Bayshore Tea Party should spend their time on. They should try and help Governor Christie get his budget passed, a budget that, as of right now, no one has seen anything more than an executive summary. The leader of this group, Barbara Gonzalez, has urged her members not to cooperate with Americans for Prosperity when they conducted their maxed out tour. This insanity should have been an early sign of her quote-unquote corruption at the hands of the establishment. Um, and there, there are just two more taken from other posts. In their early days when principles mattered, the good folks of the Bayshore Tea Party group welcomed and embraced conservative leaders like Steve Lonigan. Today they appear to repudiate him, want nothing to do with him, and refuse to acknowledge the role he played to build them to the organization they once were. And then finally, last winter Gonzalez was seen cozying up to the governor at a breakfast in the executive mansion while she made moves to detach herself from former ally and benefactor Steve Lonigan. Gonzalez actually attacked Americans for Prosperity and its effort to lobby New Jersey Congress members to be more fiscally conservative. Um, the truth of the matter is, Bob and I, when we saw what their goal, their intention was, we thought personally By that they, it you're wasn't referring a, now to AFP. Yes, that it wasn't a good idea. Let's put it this way: Steve Lonigan is not the governor. Okay, Steve Lonigan is not the governor. We were we support a lot of things Steve Lonigan does a lot of things that Steve Lonigan does, but he is not the governor. So when they say that uh, we support the governor and instead of Steve Lonigan, well, Chris Christie is our governor, and there are things that he is going to try to do that we do have to support. Mm -hmm. You have, in fact, at the meeting, we put it just that way. Some people felt at the meeting that if the governor, if we get ahead of the governor and kind of go out there with pom-poms, then the governor... And, and Bob and I stood up and said, uh, no, 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 we disagree with that. The governor has to stand up to, say, in the, like what we talked about before, the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And then we will say, rah, rah, governor. Okay, right. so to say that we're all about uh, supporting the governor before he even does something is not true. It's not supporting. It's trying to, through phone calls, telling our group maybe we should call uh, the governor's office and persuade. You do it quietly because... If you start attacking Republicans, when you have Democrats that you're, uh, how can I say, I know you could put this part better than I can, but as far as the email, let me cover that and then Bob could cover the yes much more eloquently than me. The email was sent out because we could not decide for our group that we should not go to this maxed out tour. We did not want to go. So the best way to do it was we had to let our group know about it because then it would seem as though we kept it from them because we didn't agree with it. So we couldn't do it that way. Mm -hmm. So we put out what it was. Was there maybe a, a, a little influence uh, for some people that might not understand why we weren't going? Yes. Some people might say, well, if there's a great protest, why aren't we going? Mm -hmm. you know, Barbara didn't say. They just said, we're not going. Are we going? We're not going. So, yeah, maybe there was a little bit of a... Uh, reasoning included in the email as to why we didn't think it was a good idea to go. 
Uh, but that being said, there was nowhere in that email that said you should not go. Don't mm -hmm. go. We're not going as a group. It was simply, here's the information. I gave, in fact, they probably didn't include that, but I gave di directions where the rally was. Mm -hmm. But that, No, uh, that didn't, we, I don't believe that appeared. Yeah. Well, no, there was a lot of things that uh, some of my stuff appeared and some didn't. Uh, so, but as far as the reasoning, I think uh, Bob would be yeah, a little, over. yeah, let, <laughs> let him take that one. Um, I think when, when we initially received the communications from AFP, mm -hmm on the maxed out tour, that it was focused almost solely on Chris Smith and on um, Chris Smith's uh, position with, uh, with regard to cap and trade and some other spending issues that he was, uh, he didn't stick to true Republican principles on. Well, as I recall, neither did Frank Lobiondo, neither did, so what you're saying is they, here they are concentrating on Smith but nobody's doing anything about Lance or Lobiondo. So and in I effect, what you're point. saying is sauce for the goose is sauce for the gander. Yes. Why aren't you mm -hmm. going yeah, after Take them all out. And certainly there were issues that were valid issues. Um, there was no reason why you wouldn't support it except for the fact that it was singling out uh, Congressman Smith mm -hmm. and disregarding everybody else who was uh, as deeply involved, if not more so, than he was. Now, how would you answer a charge that, well, you're saying that because you're really closet supporters of Chris Smith, and I mean, I'm sure someone would say because that. I mean, it's not so much the, it, is it not so much that you support Smith, but that your position is, if you're going to do this, go after all the culprits, don't just single out one. May I make a point here? Sure. What I'd like to say to that is, they have no idea... Well, they do have an idea, obviously, because they get our emails forwarded or mm -hmm. read or whatever. Th do they not realize that we, at the same time, send emails out to our group with phone numbers of who they should be calling and that it should be all of them? Call Lance, call Lobiondo, call mm -hmm. uh, Chris Smith. Call them as a group. Call them and uh, don't go out in public. Th I don't mean to say it this way because I don't want to make it sound like Steve is not doing it correctly, but let's face it, when you go out with your bus all decked out, I would love to have a bus that said Bayshore Tea Party Group, look what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Look what we're doing out in public with, we have speakers and bullhorns, and I'm not saying he's wrong to do that, that's what he does, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But we feel that if you, you know, keep it quiet, not quiet, but low keep key. it low key, call them. They do listen to the phone calls. They listen to the phone calls. They know. They call sometimes and say, please stop, tell your people to stop calling. The assemblywoman or assemblyman will, is not voting. It happened. It's there. We have proof of really? that happening. Yeah. It was, um, uh, uh, who was it? Not Sweeney. Um, Sean Kane. Uh, uh, Kane. Thank Sean you. Kane. Thank you. It was Sean Kane called here and said, please tell your people to stop calling. Okay, there's no reason to call anymore. That works. There's no need. How did it affect your relationship with Steve Lonigan, number one, and number two? Was, was there a positive outcome with regard to the way AFP conducted its maxed out tour after that? I mean, did you have an effect on them? Yes, we think we did. Mm -hmm. we what think happened? They changed the, um, the tone. The, the tenor of the of the uh, of the of what it was that they were intending to do, which was to um, to a, to an extent support Congressman Smith mm -hmm. and still um, indicate that that he had gone off the plantation with right. some of the votes that fine. he was that he had taken, which is which is fine. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so the tactic then shift from less confrontation to more lobbying. More of a direct lobbying type. It seemed, type. It seemed to be that's that a way. Good way to put it. Well, again, we didn't participate in it. Right. But um, we did pay attention to how the communications uh, on on the on the two week tour um, uh, evolved. The whole tone of that. Yeah. The it way changed. they advertised it changed from as seeming like an attack almost to let's support him and, and remind him that we don't don't like the cap and some trade, of that he, some right. of the things that he's done. And and that was much better. But we had already opted out of it, and we already were on to, we were busy with the map and everything. So never thinking that it would cause any hardship between Steve Lonigan, but unless you have people like this that are, you know, pitting you against Did each other. Did you get any negative feedback?
from the Lonigan people or from Lonigan himself? I think we got uh, we got some calls um, asking for more specifics on our position from mm -hmm. from some of the people that worked with Steve. But I think um, that uh, our our opinion was honestly stated from the standpoint that that we felt it was a little bit too focused on Chris Smith's negatives and not on anybody else, and we felt that it wasn't appropriate. And there so, we had other things going on. And you made that clear. You did yes, make that did. clear to yeah. Steve. There yeah. was an understanding. Uh, so was it fair to say that under no circumstances and in no uncertain terms did you quote unquote repudiate Steve Lonigan or, or throw him under the bus Absolutely or not. in no, fact right. we we had another like I said I think we had two events since then mm -hmm. and I recently we were very happy that Steve went from cap and trade mm -hmm. to the Supreme, Supreme Court, Court. Is issue ecstatic ecstatic mm -hmm. and I remember putting it on Facebook I put it in an email mm -hmm. I called and said, and I put it on right on Steve's Facebook. I, I love that you're doing that. You mm -hmm. went from cat. That's perfect. That's what you need to be doing because you're the person to do it. It's perfect. Right. And I called um, Chris, his mm -hmm. uh, who works for him, and I said, if you need, if you would like to do something from here, we'd be on board because I know our group would be on board with such a thing. Right. To to go, you know, to help with that uh, issue, the Supreme Court issue, because we've talked about it so much. I could tell you without doubt that this our group would be on board with that.